Welcome back to the Bloodborne boss battles and this time we're taking on the Witch of Hemwick. As you can see I've changed up my weapon here. I've gone for the axe and this is probably the best decision I made in the whole game. Um, this weapon is just devastating. The R2 button uh, charge attack will get you out of most situations. But um, yeah, let me get on to the boss battle. Um, you're tasked with finding the actual witch of Hemwick in this in this battle, and uh, you may be tricked into thinking it's these shadow-looking guys at first, but it's actually this piece of crap here. Um, she constantly uh, disappears, reappears. Um, you think she's somewhere and she's not. All the while so seeking her out, you're trying not to get killed by this guy. Or should I say these guys, considering there's uh, several of them. Now, as you can see, I'm doing pretty decent damage there with that spin attack. This is why I would advise anyone who's playing this game for the first time just to go for the axe from day one. Um, right now I'm just looking around for her, waiting for her to appear. Sometimes you have to walk up onto the bridge uh, and then keep an eye out and then you'll see she'll just appear there. Once again it's just spin to win, spin to win. all the while avoiding this guy as you'll see in the background top left hand corner the second one gets summoned and the further you get through this battle the more and more of them that get summoned um, so you want to keep an eye on them all the while trying to take her out now you're thinking hold on so I've taken her out why isn't the boss battle done you're thinking maybe it's because I've got these guys to deal with but no it turns out there's a second Witch of Hemwick. You've just seen the, the life bar appear. Um, whether the first was a doppelganger, I don't know. This this game tends to be very vague with the story and the backgrounds on, on, on the bosses. And you're left to kind of figure it out yourself through uh, item dialogue uh, and whatnot. But yeah, as you can see here, there was two guys stalking me from the left. Now, you don't want to get caught by this. This attack, she'll hit you with it and then she'll grab you and put this... I don't know what she's put on my face, but she's put something on my face. And that can just completely devastate your health bar. Uh, if you do survive it, roll out. Try and heal. I was a bit cheeky. I got a spin to win in there took out these guys it usually takes one or two spins to get them as you can see here she's opened herself up now what I like about that spin move you may think I'm rinsing it but it's also my line of defense because because it's a pretty much 360 uh, range if anyone comes up behind me they get taken by it as well which is always good there's the second one right behind me so you're de trying to deal with two I think the second one revives the first one but that's one of them down this guy's not really a threat see now I've got three of them on the screen now the thing with these guys is they're actually a lot more intimidating in the actual uh, kind of open field area but in this boss battle they stalk very slowly so then they're, they're not really anything too much to worry about here. Um, oh, is she hiding in the corner? Yep, she's hiding in the corner. There we go. If you're lucky, you can get two off before she disappears. Now, she's on that little last sliver of health. So all I need to do is look out. Wait for that lantern. And just go for it. There we go. She's done. She's finished. These guys are going to drop down dead as well. Thanks for watching, rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.